All right guys, welcome back. In the last couple of videos, we learned about the selectors and more specifically, we learned about the CSS selectors and the X path selectors. And now I believe that you guys are finally ready to extract data from this codes website. That is codes.toscrape.com. And we are finally going to be writing code inside our codes underscore spider dot Python file. But before we start writing code, let's actually inspect the elements and see the code that goes into writing these codes. So we are it's going to right click over here and click on inspect and you'll be able to see that each of these elements is inside this class equals to code so the first element that contains the code the author and the tags is represented by this division tag with class equals to code and similarly with the second quote the third quote and so on so what we are going to be doing is that first we are going to be selecting this division class equal to code so we are going to be selecting all these division tags from our response variable that will contain the source code so let's go back inside our Python file and instead of this title yield, we'll just remove that because we don't need it now. And instead of that, we are just gonna create a new variable and let's call it all div quotes. And what this variable is gonna contain is that it's gonna contain all of these division tags over here, which have the class of equals to code. So let's go back to our code. And just like we did in the previous videos, we are gonna write response.css. We are gonna use the CSS selector. And because we want all of the quotes in the division tags, that's why we are gonna write div dot quote. And we are not gonna write dot extract over here because we don't want this class data we just want the items that are inside this class for example the quote the actual quote and then we want the author name and then the tags we don't want this actual class data so what we are going to do is we are going to use this class equals to code and we are going to go inside this so instead of using this response variable we are going to be using all div codes so let's actually show you guys what we are talking about so we are going to create a new variable let's call it title and now instead of using the response variable which contains all of the source code we are just going to be using all div codes that just contains the source code of this division tag of class equals to code so let's go back to our uh, code and over here we're just going to write all diff quotes dot css and then we are going to be using another css selector to extract this title that is our main quote so if we open up a little bit we'll be able to see that we want to extract the data from this span html tag which has the class of text so now we can just write span and make sure you do it inside the code so we can just write span dot text to select our text and we can just write dot extract now obviously we need to extract the text part of this uh, quote and not the whole element with this span html element so we are going to add a tag of text over here just like we learned in the previous videos now that we have extracted the main quote let's extract the author name so we are just going to create another variable let's call it author and again we are going to be using instead of response all div quotes and using the CSS selector and let's go back to our code to see how we can extract the data that is inside code so if you open up this span class you can see that this contains a span and inside that span it contains an a tag which has this uh, all right that is wrong inside the span class we have this small HTML uh, tag which has the class of author and inside this author we have this Albert Einstein which we want so what we can do is we can come over here and we can use just the dot author selector and because we just want the text we can again write text and we can also extract this and now that we have the author let's actually extract the tags that we have so if we go inside this division of tags let's open it up you'll be able to see that the tags are inside this a tag of class equals to tag and there are four of these so what we can do is we can go back to our code and we can write tag equals to and another, again we are just going to use all division codes dot css and we are going to be selecting using this dot tags and um, i just want the text from it so i'm going to write dot text dot extract and this should work fine now like we did in all of the videos we are going to be using a return statement and in web scraping in scrappy especially instead of return we use the yield statement so i'm just going to write yield and because you always return or you always yield a dictionary so i'm going to create a dictionary and every dictionary needs to have a key and then a value so i'm going to be writing a title key over here and then i'm going to be sending the value of the title variable and i'm going to be doing with both of the author and the tag I can do it with simply the author so I'm just going to write author and I'm going to return the value of author and forgot to put a comma over here comma over here and then I can just write tag 
and over here I'm going to return a value of tag. So this all looks pretty good, but this is going to return us a lot of data. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be returning the first quote data. So over here, the first quote contains this, the world quote, the author, and then these tags. So instead of returning all of that, I can just write the zero over here. And like we learned that this basically is a list. So we can just kind of extract the first element from it instead of extracting all of the elements. So now to run this crawler, we can just open up our terminal and we have to go inside our project folder, press enter. So now let's just write scrappy crawl and we want to crawl our quotes. So this is the name of our spider that we have created if you have forgotten. And now we can just press enter and see what happens. So now if we scroll up a little bit, let's see what Scrappy has returned to us. And as you can see, we have some of output. So it says that the quote is over here, which says the world as we have created is a process, which is pretty good. We have the author, but there is some problem in the tags, which is not giving us anything. So let's see what the problem is. So in the tags, it says all division codes.css.tags text extract so let's go back and see what the problem is so we have this class of equals to tag all right so maybe we should instead of uh, write, writing dot tags we have to write just dot tag so i kind of misspelled this spelling so we have to correct this so instead of dot tags we just have to write dot tag and this should work properly so let's go back to her terminal and i made an oopsie it's fine and this is kind of a i'm not going to remove this from the video because this is kind of a good learning lesson so i'm going to press enter again all right so here it is the title we have extracted the author albert einstein and we have the tags now let's actually remove this zero index of over here and let's see what is the output when we have all of the quotes and we have extracted all of the quotes and the title and the tags from this main page so our page has quite a lot of quotes. So let's go over here and let's scroll it again. So let's scroll down and we are going to write scrappy crawl quotes. All right, so it has been crawled. Let's scroll up. And as you can see, this contains a lot of quotes. So here are our quotes and then here are our authors and then the tag somewhere should start over here. All right, so this gives us a lot of values of title, authors, and tags. Now, what if we want the values of title, authors, and tags one by one instead of just throwing them at our face instantly? So what we are gonna be doing is that we are gonna be creating a for loop. So what we can do is over here, we can just create a for loop that says for Q, or instead of Q, we can write quote, in and we can just write all division quotes so we are going to be extracting all of these quotes that are inside this div tag so let's actually inspect over here and let's wait for this to open up yeah so we are going to be extracting all of these division tags one by one and then one by one we are going to be taking the quote the author and the tags so this is the process so what we can do is we can just copy this and instead of copying we can just press tab and now instead of all div quotes we can just put quote over here Actually, let's change this to quotes so that we don't have to do a lot of work. And we can just remove this from over here. We can remove this. And then we can just press tab so that this comes inside the for loop. And this looks pretty good. Let me just format this properly. And let me just run this crawler again to see now how our output looks. So the website has been crawled. And now if we scroll up, you will be able to see that a lot of stuff has been scraped. So if we go to the top, you'll be able to see over here that now these sections of quotes have been scrapped one by one. So now we have the title, the author, the tag, and then we go to the second section where we have the quote, the author, and then the tag. And similarly, we have the third title, the author, and then the tag. So you can do both of them, that's totally fine. So this for functionality of extracting code section one at a time kind of helps you store them properly inside the database, but it won't matter much when we go to the next video where we'll be learning about items and making sure that the title, author and the tags are properly customized and stored in a proper form. So I'll see you in the next video where we'll be learning about items in Scrappy.